a typical landscape that makes a Bromby yearn for home and city dwellers ditch their plans to go for an out-of-town trip. We actually see them strolling here. Everything is so perfect and pristine in the colors that nature painted them. Blue skies, white fluffy clouds, and green forests and trees. The mountains are blue, suggesting a very distant horizon. The water is also blue in the horizon, while green reflecting the greenery and the yellow beach. A village that is so used to the breathtaking view that you wonder if it still takes their breath away. The villagers are either inside standing by their windows or are on foot headed to somewhere. Or perhaps they are vacationers renting the Nipah hut for the weekend. Rice fields and paddies delineate the mountains and the village. Blue mountains in the horizon, green covered mountains stand in contrast to the dried up ones. A church building which stands tall against everything else. It is the center of the town. We see smoke rising. We can only hope it's not a camper who has forgotten to kill the fire before heading to his destination. We see men engaged in sabong with a few spectators while others are just going about their ways. At least this one is earning his keep the right way. Men engrossed in watching something that is hidden from our view. The lady behind them is slowly being transfixed as well. A kainan with a yummy lechon being roasted, but no one is paying it any attention. A woman is serving an all men kainan. They are having pulutan, inuman, and some pantahan as they wait for the lechon. A man in bicycle is riding too close to them. I wonder if he's part of the kainan. Call me judgmental, but this one with the fan appears to me like somebody who does not care how he appears in public. I don't know exactly what this man is doing. But behind him are a mother and child about to enter an abode with a second floor that's decorated with a painting. A very busy market scene with eggs, corns, onions, mangoes, hats, oranges, leafy vegetables, and what looks like a couple of hats being sold. Meanwhile, someone has a lucky catch. In the background, we see a very Pinoy tradition. This man is picking mangoes either to sell or to help himself. Another market scene centering around the life that a river gives to its town. We spot a dog helping himself with a catch and another dog enjoying a ride. Umbrellas are in use as well as hats for a man, which suggests this is late morning. Those without protection find shelter in the shadow. A farmer on a caravan making deliveries to the market with his wife as a passenger at the back. A man hoists the delivery on his shoulder, perhaps to the woman whose back is turned to him. Another man has a sack hoisted on his shoulder, but judging from his clothes, he looks more like the owner or a customer. We also see a maglalako just standing, perhaps trying to rest his shoulders or balancing his pole for better mobility. Another scene where we see fish vendors, as well as two kids playing, with the man on a boat observing them. A group of men is enjoying a rice meal served in a banana leaf, eating with their hands. As much as this is a busy scene, the atmosphere is quiet. We don't see anyone engaged in a chat. They are bound for somewhere else, mostly by foot. No one is minding the vacant boat and the kalesa. A woman is balancing a pot on her head. A couple is walking side by side, sandwiched by men done with their errands. A quiet domestic scene where household members are doing chores. This woman is preparing lunch. Across the river are women doing the laundry. Everyone else is busy except for this young man who seems to be holding something attached from the beautiful tree or he is just holding a stick up. Hard to say, but the latter makes more sense. Another sabong scene with men who are a bit young. All we have seen, market scenes, sabong, landscapes, houses, church, are typical Pinoy art themes. But what is not typical is having them all in one painting, which Rodolfo Santa Maria achieves and achieves so wonderfully.
The only thing lacking here is a Bayanihan scene. Maybe next time. But it is not so much that these details are all in one painting. It is when you see the work in actual, you would be amazed how small they are and yet are so defined. We have heard of how art is fun. Santa Maria shows us that exactly as he gives us an exercise a la Larry Alcala's iconic slice of life on a canvas. Makes me wonder if Santa Maria has inserted himself in his paintings. Hmm. Check out Santa Maria's other works and discover the fun yourself. Fun in art is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.